Hello everyone and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech with myself Amata and another news video. Today I have some iOS news for you as there is a pretty significant update now available, iOS 6.1, which is a pretty huge update especially in comparison to the very small bug squashing update that Apple released in December. It's an over-the-air update for all iPhone, iPad and iPod users. The iOS 6.1 will allow Siri users to purchase movie tickets directly through the voice assistant software via Fandango. Currently the feature is limited to iOS users in the United States, but it is possible that it could be extended to other regions in the future. So at the moment us Europeans are not going to be able to use that particular feature feature sorry but hopefully it will be added very very soon as I'm sure many of us would like to have that ease of use. What's very interesting and quite a pleasing update is it rectifies a long-standing design oversight that I'm sure many Apple device users will be familiar with because it prevented iTunes match users from downloading individual songs from the iCloud to their iOS device be it their phone or what have you. Previously you could only download entire albums, so now you can actually just take the best songs from that album and just, excuse me, download those ones rather than the entire thing, which is always, always nice for those of us who love our music. The update also includes support for additional LTE carriers, though the company hasn't actually specified which ones. As well as of all this, the update also allows users to reset Apple's advertising identifier, which targets advertising based on your usage, which basically means that it's going to no longer be targeting you with ads based on your clicks and things like that. But the last piece of news is, of course, the most interesting one, as it might actually have quite an effect on the jailbreaking community, which of course means basically completely unlocking your phone and quote unquote jailbreaking it so you can basically just do whatever you like with the device that you have paid for. When iOS 6 debuted last year, security obstacles prevented coders from producing a stable jailbreak for this particular software. However, with 6.1, a team of developers have said that they've finally been able to crack the system. So for those of you who have been waiting to jailbreak your device, well, that should be some very, very good news for you guys indeed. And it's always see, nice to see sorry, such a popular device being improved and updated even now. I'm personally not an iPhone user myself, but that's just me. I know many of you out there probably use them, and for good reason as well. So it's nice to see a little bit of more user-friendliness and basically nice shiny features for us to play around with being added. Small as they might be, apart from the jailbreaking feature of course, they're still important to your everyday lives. Anyway, that's me done for this news video. Hope you found it helpful and somewhat entertaining. Please do hit me up with any comments or thoughts on this particular topic and give us a like on the video and a subscribe on the channel if you haven't done so already. Each one really does count. Anyway, thank you very much again, and I'll see you again next time.